All right, the current patch, plot one of our Berry Enterprise. Black, red, pink and white. A new chapter has begun.
Good morning folks, welcome back to Stefano Farm. I'm out on a glorious early morning getting some planting done in the market garden, continuing the work and establishing our berry enterprise. Today I'm back in the current patch and for the last few days I've been setting out our various different current varieties. I'm putting in black currants, red currants, pink currants and white currants with three different fruiting times with each, an early, a mid and a late variety. It's taken me a couple of days just to put in the black currants, uh, the red currants. Today I'm just marking out for the pink and the white. I've also been getting plot two ready, which is going to be our raspberry patch, but we'll look at them in another video. Today is all about the currants. So if you look at our first video in this series of updates, you'll see that I made the raised beds for these currants here in plot one. This was actually the first ever plot that we made for the market garden. We turned this from an overgrown field into vegetable beds in 2015. So it's a great feeling to be here nine years later, changing things over, making some edits, putting in a crop that's going to be productive for a long, long time to come. A real new chapter for us here at the farm. So last week, as soon as the snow had started to melt, I got the BCS out and I made some raised beds going north to south down this slight slope. We've got a 2 meter alleyway between each row. We're setting out the berries 1.5 to 1.2 meters apart. It just depends on the vigor and how big the plants get, but on the whole they're about a meter and a half apart. So I'm using my little orange flags, which you will see are everywhere throughout our videos, wherever I've got to mark where a tree's getting planted or a, a stump, a tree stump has got to be dug up. I, put, I use these little orange flags, so I'm um, just measuring out the length of the bed. The beds are all about 9 meters long, roughly 75 centimeters wide. I use the little orange flags to put in the ground where we're going to be planting a berry, and then I plant the berries. So I started with the black currants. We've got three varieties. I'll go into more detail about the actual varieties in a separate video. Planted them out. Rosa and our daughter Lillian came out to help. You might notice the wee monkey pulling out the flags as I walk down. She's behind me pulling out the flags, so it was a little bit chaotic. So I'm out here this morning while Lillian's still asleep, just so I can get the last of these currants in the ground. We've only got the pink and the white, so that's seven pink currants and 14 white currants going in just now. These will all start coming in to a decent crop over the next couple of years. So it's a bit of a long game, um, but at least with currants, it's a lot quicker than top fruit, like your apples and your plums, until you start seeing a return. Great, I'm gonna crack on and get the white currants in. The pink currants are in pots, so they're just sitting out in the bed, ready to be planted, but uh, the white currants are mostly bare roots, so I wanna get them in the ground before their roots dry out. All right, let's get these currants in.
All right, that is the current patch. Plot one of our berry enterprise planted. Black, red, pink and white all in the ground. We've got 52 bushes that we've planted. Really great to have them in. It's a real milestone in Tappanoff farm history. Our new chapter has begun. While that's the bushes planted, there's still a lot to do to the plot. We've got to cut the berry bushes down to about two inches above soil level. It'll make a more robust plant and we'll stop them being all lanky and leggy and encourage more strong growth to come up from lower down. Then I would love to mulch them. I haven't quite decided yet whether I'm gonna mulch the entire row or just give each plant a good spot mulch. After mulching, I would say with the currants that probably is the last bit of work to do. We don't need any trellis for them. i will really just be making sure there's no pressure from any annual weeds that pop up. We might get a bit droughty in uh, April, which we sometimes do get a sudden burst of really hot weather and no rain, so it might need to water. But yeah, apart from that, uh, we're just gonna wait until they fruit. So in coming videos, we'll be looking at the rest of the market garden where we're planting the berries. I've already been making work on the raspberry patch and the blackberry patch. We're very berry focused right now because of the time of year. This is when we're planting the berries. It's obviously, it's a new venture for us. We've also got a lot of fruit trees to put in. And of course, we've got the goats who are due to kid anytime soon. And well, I don't know if I want to tell you just yet, there's another animal aspect to Tappanoff Farm's future that, fingers crossed, should be coming. While we're very berry focused right now, I know a lot of you out there are interested in the livestock, in the vegetable production, and some of the other trees that we're putting in. I'm gonna be hopefully making content featuring all of that over the next few months. But right now, it's berries. So I hope you're enjoying our journey setting up this small berry enterprise. Thanks for coming along today. Hope you're all well out there and we'll see you soon. See ya.